Hey, what's going on folks? Matt here with Texas Edge Home Inspections. I want to talk to you today about water heater drain lines. Okay, so usually you will have two drain lines coming off your water heater exiting the property uh, within about six inches of the ground and angled to turn downward. One is the drain line coming off the pan. So if there were, if water were to uh, come out anywhere and get caught in the pan, it would come out of that line and exit your house. Uh, so if you see water coming out of that line, you know you've got a problem and that needs to be taken care of. The other one is a temperature and pressure relief line. So if the temperature or the pressure gets too high inside that tank, it's going to send water out of that line or just if the valve goes bad. Uh, both of these, like I said, should exit the property within about six inches of the ground and turn downward. Now let me take you in for a closer look at what's going on in this one. So generally guys, the bigger of the two is going to be your drain pan and then the smaller of the two is going to be the temperature and pressure relief line. And as you can see, we have water dripping pretty consistently from the temperature and pressure relief line. Uh, quite a bit of water coming out of that. Now I've already briefly been in the attic and I did see that water heater and it is an older unit. Uh, the unit probably is in need of replacement, but it's currently working, but that valve isn't working. So at the very least, that temperature and pressure relief valve needs to be replaced. So it's not sending water out here out of that line. Uh, another thing, when it comes to uh, termites, we want to be concerned about excess moisture near your structure. Uh, not only do we have that line just sending water off in this area, but we have a gutter uh, up here that's uh, also leaking water into this area, making this whole section of the house very wet and moist. Now that is a conducive condition for termites, for wood destroying insects. So termites, subterranean termites, love to go down to the ground and get water and then come back up and eat your house. So we have wood siding, we have wood framing, we have all kinds of things that termites really like and we have a wet area and this is a relatively shaded area. So this is the perfect area for uh, termites to be found. We are not finding any today, but it is the season for that to start popping up. So you got to eliminate these conducive conditions so that you can keep from having termites. All right, guys, Matt with Texas Edge Home Inspections. I'm going to go finish inspecting this property. Give me a call so I can inspect your next house. Bye now. Hey, you guys, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, head on over to YouTube and hit subscribe.